Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. If it's your first time to come across this channel, by the way, don't forget to uh, consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell because it will be the only way that we'll be updated whenever we have to upload a new video. Remember, in today's video, we are talking about what we are going to talk about what we call health insurance uh, in Qatar. Remember, we earlier on had rumors about the health insurance in Qatar which is going to be mandatory. Yes, true, it's going to be gazetted and it's going to be gazetted in, uh, in, the, in Qatar whereby every worker in Qatar will be entitled to have what you call health insurance uh, for his for health insurance. Remember, as per what we call the draft of the resolution, um, the citizens in Qatar or all the workers will receive what you call health, will have to undergo what you have, have what you call health insurance services and they will have to be getting some facilities from the government. Remember, this health insurance that is coming, uh, health insurance that will be coming in Qatar or will be in Qatar, for that case, it will be entitled or you, all workers will be entitled to have what you call health insurance in Qatar. Remember, this came after uh, after what we call uh, the Council of Ministers sitting down and um, uh, ministers approved what we call a draft of resolution regarding regulating what we call the health care services within Qatar. As per the draft of the resolution, for the latest information we have, as per the draft of the resolution, all citizens will receive what we call free of charge health services at what we call the government health facilities. What comes in your mind before or after? Normally before, uh, most of the people are being recruited on what you call work visas and most people have not been taken so seriously of having what you call a health card. Remember, for some right now for you to access what you call free, uh, relatively free medical or relatively cheaper medical uh, medical services here in Qatar, for example, the government government facilities, you need to have what you call a health card because it comes a little bit very cheaper for you. But right now, it's uh, something that has been added on is what we call the health insurance that is going to be introduced to all citizens either the Qataris or all the citizens or non-citizens in both the private and the public sectors at this time. Remember, health insurance shall be mandatory. It's going to be mandatory to ensure the provision of what you call the basic health service to expertise and visitors. What does it mean if you are coming on a visit visa that you will always need to have what you call a health insurance covered for you for you to have that visitor, visit visa visa uh, approved for you at that time. That's how things are going to become a little bit very hard, especially for people who are visiting the country or who are coming on a visit visa. However, that is going to be of a very beneficial or it's going to be beneficial for especially the people who are working or especially the employees in all the different sectors, especially in the private sectors that are going to be working in Qatar. However, something that something that we need to understand that this compulsory health insurance system which includes the, the which includes the non qataris and the workers in the private and the public sector will include the manual workers will include the craftsmen will include the domestic workers and will include the visitors meaning that this insurance this health uh, health care insurance services that is going to be introduced right now it's not going to discriminate anyone it's going to be mandatory for all. You are working in the domestic, you are working as a domestic worker, you are working as a manual worker, you are working as a craftsman, you are working as, a, or you are coming as a visitor. You are all going to be compulsory. It's going to be compulsory for all people uh, in Qatar to have what you call an health insurance. Still, something we, something we need to note that employers uh, shall pay what we call the premium to cover the basic services of their employee. All employers or all sponsors that will be recruiting people to come to work in Qatar, they will make sure that they pay what we call the premium. Uh, so, uh, what we call premium is that amount of money that is being kept and that is deposited to insurance companies to cover your, to cover any cause of any problem that happens that is insured for. For example, if you insure your, 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 yourself uh, against sickness in the insurance company, when that problem comes uh, for big gold, then probably that insurance company will come to, to, to compensate and pay up all your medical bills. That is what is coming. That is what we call the premium, the amount of money or the sums of money that is being paid to insurance company to insure against 
just a loss or any disease or of any kind of form. So, meaning that your employer, the person who is going to recruit you in Qatar, your sponsor is the one that is going to be paying that kind of, is going to be the one going to be paying that premium to that insurance company. And remember, when you talk about those insurance companies, those insurance companies will be approved by the government that will be working in coordination with the, the system. And something that you need to know, that the insurance company must provide employment or what we call the, the recruiters with what we call the insurance card that is equivalent to addition to what we call offering treatment network. What does it mean? That these insurance companies that are going to be approved to provide the services, they will provide what we call the insurance cards. You will have that insurance card, meaning that your employer will also give you that insurance card for you to access these services in the government sector in the government hospitals in what case however when we look at those insurance companies they may also have other additional 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 offers or additional packages uh, that may need to have or which kind of hospitals that you may be entitled to go to receive those services in one way or the other for example right now for most of you who have what you call healthy cards here in Qatar you can look at your health card you normally when you have the workers health card you may be referred to what you call healthy center 21 that's where you're supposed to receive your your your, your treatment from at one of our case because it is uh, it is designated for that cause and in this case also insurance companies will have to issue what we call insurance cards to what we call the employer and that employer will also have to issue an insurance card to the employee remember basic health services for visiting uh, uh for those people that are going to come on what we call a visit visa in qatar they should have they will also have what we call a basic health uh, care services they will have to pay for that in what you call the insurance company and they'll have to to redeem um, to have it however for people who are coming on a visit visa or people who are coming to visit the following the following basic health skin services will be available that is emergency and accident treatment services as included in the regulation so if you are going to come as a visitor in Qatar you make sure you have to pay what you call to have a healthy a health insurance scheme that is going to be uh, that is going to be uh, services that including what you call emergency and accident trip remember remember to have a former employee removed from an insurance policy employees or exclude might follow what you call the procedure on the place to notify the insurance co uh, company upon termination of uh, the employment contract or contract for any reason for any employer for or for your sponsor to remove you or to remove you from that insurance scheme of that insurance uh, uh, insurance company or that insurance policy that you have this employer has to follow the procedure according to the government what procedure this employer or your sponsor has to follow the procedure is that your sponsor or your employer has to inform the insurance company that so and so makes has been terminated is no longer part of that insurance come a scheme then they will have to cut you off otherwise if your employer does not notify the insurance company that means your employer will continue paying for you that premium or will continue paying for you that healthy insurance cover until you finish up your contract that is according to the government regulations that we have on board then something that still you need to know is something that is still to know that in case the employer for example in case the employee or fails to transfer his or her sponsorship under the new employer then definitely upon the termination of his contract the insurance company must must may be including excluded until either the policy legally permitted or the period of residence that is for example if an employee fails to transfer a sponsorship if for example you are terminated from one job and you fail to get a new sponsor in one way or the other what the regulation or the new regulation by the government is that your former employer will continue paying for that premium in that insurance company under your name according until that period that you are supposed to work for that with that sponsor it elapses if you are supposed to work with that sponsor for two years or you've already worked for one year and you have a balance of one year in case it terminates your contract and you cannot find a new company to take over the sponsorship that means this former employer will continue to pay that 
insurance uh, health insurance cover for you until the end of your contract which you are agreed upon because you is the one that is terminating you for any cause that is according to regulation of the government remember something that you need to know also the employer or what you call the recruiter the person is going to sponsor you or the person is going to recruit you must have what you call obligations what are those obligations the obligation towards that the obligation is that your employer must make sure that you are insured with an insurance health scheme with an insurance company you must be insured that is the, uh, the obligation remember it begins with the date of entry into the country the day you enter into the entry into the country your employer has to take details of you and has to register your name or register you with the accredited what with that accredited uh, insurance companies for that case because it begins from the date of entry into the country that is the role that is the responsibility of the recruiter the sponsor or what you call the employer according to the government also also something is has to be uh, something has to remember the obligation of the employer is contracting one of the registered insurance company that that employer who is as recruited or the sponsor has to choose out one insurance company that is going to be catering for his workers or that is going to be uh, registering his worker uh, in case uh, uh, that is going to be registering its workers in that case that is according to the regulations of uh, the government However, still also something that you need to remember, it's going to be an obligation of the employer to provide uh, the necessary data of beneficiaries to the registered insurance company. It will be the employer to look for data that will be able to be fed the insurance uh, insurance company that we are uh, going to be insured in one way or the other, which is quite going to be a very uh, uh, which is going to be a very good deal in one way or the other. So uh, I hope. Uh, people who will be working in Qatar hope it gets to be enjoyed and gets to ease because all we need to have, uh, we need to have a health insurance and we need to be safe uh, uh, away from the hardest uh, uh, circumstances may happen as we are doing work. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Remember, it's makes for the next question. For always the updates in the Gulf, around the world, I always be giving you that updates. By the way, don't forget to give up the thumbs up of this video. If there is any information that you've shared, some information that you've got, share it to a friend. By the way, you can also put a comment in the comment section below. Always be more than happy to get back to you. Uh, see you again in the next video as we are looking at the latest updates around the group. We will do the latest updates in the Gulf country. Thank you so much. Next from the next question. See you again in the next video.